So while I'm artifacts of Mars, and you're not going to believe this one, this one's really nasty. Scientists want to give the atmosphere an antacid to relieve climate change. It won't solve the underlying problem, but geoengineering may have just gotten a bit safer. What problem? The Earth's temperature is going to vary in fields and much shorter summers and much longer and colder winters if they uh, are able to do what they want. One approach to geoengineering Earth is to mimic the natural atmospheric cooling effect that tends to follow the massive dispersion of sulfur dioxide in the air during a volcanic eruption. There are a few obvious problems with this approach. For instance, it's unclear what nation or international body will be authorized to release the sulfur dioxide. Chemical is also a pollutant and can cause acid rain. It might indirectly both eat away the layer of ozone that protects living things from ultraviolet light and warm the lower part of the stratosphere above the tropics about 19 miles up. I thought it was supposed to uh, cool things down. A group of Harvard researchers, go figure, led by David Keith, a professor of applied physics and public policy, just proposed different solutions and proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The aerosol of calcium carbonate would have a similar cooling effect as sulfur dioxide in an upper atmosphere and I'll protect the ozone layer as a bonus. So now we're going to be uh, breathing this shit in apparently. Approach is akin to giving the atmosphere a handful of antacid tablets. The aerosol will come back, block some incoming solar energy, and neutralize airborne acid particles that are bad for the ozone. What's that shit going to do to our lungs? Mm. New study opens world's atmosphere seeding options beyond sulfur dioxide which has caused much debate inside and outside of the scientific community, turning to a calcium and compound that's among the most common on Earth, otherwise known as limestone, can they have significantly less environmental risk than sulfate aerosol or authors wrote. Right. Paper echoes the monuments last year made by the National Research Council about the albedo modification, the scientific phrase, which means increasing Earth's ability to reflect incoming sunlight. Wonderful. They're going to freeze us to death. The committee undertook the study and was concerned in understanding the ethical, political, and environmental consequences of an albedo modification action it's relatively less advanced than technical capacity to execute it. But planning, knowing how to do something doesn't necessarily make it doing it a good thing. Yeah, no fooling. Now, you really want to freeze stuff? These people are insane. The sun is cooling down. It's part of a natural cycle. The sun goes through every now and then. This has been in the news. The sun is cooling down. So the earth is going to cool down. But these people are insane. They believe that uh, heat on the earth doesn't come from the sun. They believe it comes from carbon dioxide. They're insane. There's no brain. There's no mind. They're crazy. I'm sorry. I have no other way to put it. What am I supposed to think here? That these people are rational? Hopefully they won't be able to do this. But they're uh, really asking for it. Uh, if you're not angered by this, I feel sorry for you. I don't, I don't even know what this would do. You're taking lime and you're throwing it up into the atmosphere 
the school the plant down if they uh, can do it, but I don't know what else it's going to do to us in terms of um, our ability to breathe and whatnot. I have no idea. This is insanity. This is why I get some mad science update. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.